Hey everybody, welcome to the weekend wrap up for uh, the week of August 15th through August 21st, 2016. The way I feel about this week is I feel like some of you are still reeling from a breakup. Um, you felt betrayed either by your partner or maybe by somebody who you confided in. I feel like you opened yourself up and you laid all your cards on the table to somebody and they betrayed your trust. They probably went back and told people about the conversation that you guys had um, when between the two of you it was agreed on that it would be in the strictest of confidence. The other thing I see is that uh, somebody may be being a little two-faced when they are in, the, in your company they go along with what you say but when you know they are with other people then you know they appear to be judging you they appear to be talking bad about you they don't appear they are they they're just going back and forth you know taking information back and forth and <clears throat> um i see that with three of swords that showed up on monday for some of you i'm feeling like with the three of swords that showed up on Monday, not only are you reeling from the breakup, I am feeling like some of you uh, who broke up with somebody, I feel like your partner actually hooked up with somebody that is close to you. A friend, a cousin, you know, God forbid is anybody closer than that. That's close enough. But I have just got this feeling that there was some uh, major betrayal and that uh, your partner actually hooked up with somebody close to you. At the same time, I feel like those of you who have gone through some sort of breakup or separation, uh, whether or not your partner ran off with somebody close to you or just ran off with somebody in general, I feel like that there was uh, new opportunities for relationships for you as well. Now, I don't know if this is something that uh, had been not on the back burner, but uh, what am I looking for? I feel like for some of you, this may have been your backup plan. I feel like some of you this 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 new person that comes into your life i feel like they're not new coming into your life i feel like even though you're going through a breakup with somebody else that you had a backup plan but nobody knew about it and once you realize that you have been betrayed or that you have been deceived that somebody was talking about you behind your back with this uh, somebody came between you and your partner or something came between you and your partner and for a while you were reeling in that hurt but when the two of cups showed up on Tuesday I feel like you reached in your old bag of tricks and pulled up your backup plan now the eight of wands shows up on Wednesday and in this situation, I'm feeling like maybe some of you kind of went public with this relationship and people maybe were feeling like you're moving too fast. You just got out of a relationship. How are you with this new person? Not knowing that that person had really been around too. Uh, maybe it wasn't just the partner that had some other stuff going on. But, you know, even if this was somebody new, I feel like that there were people who um, 
felt like you moved too quick. And even within yourself, I think that with the Eight of Wands showing up, you saw an opportunity and you took it with this new person or this old new person. Um, there was just a lot of excitement around these new possibilities with this new person. Um, and you did consider the fact that you had just gotten out of a relationship. You did take the time to uh, think about whether or not this was the right thing to do. Um, and I think that some of you went ahead and moved forward with that. This was the right thing to do for you. And I feel like uh, with the Seven of Wands that showed up on Thursday, this is where you started to have people that uh, were challenging your decisions, were you know giving you advice that you didn't necessarily need, were fighting against you uh, on the fact that maybe they felt like you had gotten into a relationship way too soon and you had to stand up for your decisions. You had to say, look here, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do, you know, and you'd already in your mind gone over the pros and cons, but the people on the outside, uh, you know, they, they, they aren't aware of all the things that were going on in the background. So everybody wants to step up with an opinion. Everybody want to, wants to step up with, uh, you know, if I were you, I would have. And you felt the need to stand your ground. People didn't know what you, you know, were all upset about. It's like, well, why are you making such a big deal out of this? Well, because you know um, the magnitude of, uh, of judgment that you can get from other people. And people are very opinionated and you just weren't in the mood to take it. It's like, look, I'm grown. I can do what I want to do. This doesn't affect you. I'm the one that has to be with this person. And you stood up for that. And for now, it looks like you actually made the right decision. Continue to stand up for whatever this is, whether this is a relationship or whether you took some other course of action. Because I also feel like if um, going back to the Three of Swords, and going back to the fact that uh, I'm feeling like for some of you that your partner ran off with somebody close to you, I kind of feel like um, you may have decided to maybe go and put them paws on somebody. And everybody was like, no, that's not the right thing to do. But it made you feel better at the time. So, you know, for you at that time, it was the right thing. Uh, and you stood up for that. With all of this going on, you are still finding yourself hurt, still finding yourself in some pain, and it's because you don't really want to acknowledge uh, the truth of what has gone on around you, even outside of your new starts and your new uh, opportunities for happiness or whatever this is with another person, this um, separation or breakdown of a relationship or whatever it is that you have uh, with your previous partner is still very new and still very fresh. And although you are trying to get on with your life with your new situation, you are you just kind of finding yourself in a funk. You're still finding yourself, you know, in some pain and you don't quite know why. Well, um, the reason being is because you with um, the three of swords reversed, you could just not be actually facing the truth, facing the problem head on, acknowledging the problem uh, so that you can uh, come to acceptance and heal. And that's something that you're going to have to do. You are going to have to face this hurt, this pain, this whatever this is uh, that started this week. You're, you're going to have to actually go and look it directly in the face. Mm. Like my aunt always says, face everything and recover. And that is what the Three of Swords is asking you to do. Um, overall, 
I think for the middle part of the week and towards the in the middle to the late part of the week, even with this hurt or whatever this pain this is that you were still stuck in, you overall feel like you got what you wanted. Um, with the Empress showing up on Saturday, you feel like that this uh, was a lot of abundance, a lot of uh, uh, just you got what you wanted. You feel like there was something birth that was beautiful for you, something that made you feel good. You feel like you got what you wanted. Now, as we got to Sunday, though, I, I kind of feel like you may have been taking a step back to reevaluate with the page of coins that came up on Sunday. Um, for some of you, though, who are getting out of a relationship, this is actually a new job. This is a new uh, financial opportunity um, because I think last week we talked about the Queen of Coins reversed, and one of the things that the Queen of Coins, that is so funny, um, anyway, uh, one of the things that the Queen of, I'll just go ahead and tell you, the Queen of Coins is, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the Queen of Coins is ruled by Venus as well as um, the Empress, and as I was saying that, my planetary hours just announced that it was Venus hours. So I always love that. Synchronicities. Uh, stay tuned for that video. But getting off the subject. Okay. So, like I said, as we got towards the end of the week, as we got to Sunday, I kind of feel like uh, you felt like you did need to take a step back and reevaluate everything that had gone on. Um, some of you felt like you needed to go back to the drawing board. Some of you felt like that you needed to maybe take a moment to rethink this uh, this new physical relationship that you may be having with somebody. You may have moved into this relationship uh, a little fast and because you had people on the tail about it even though you you know you stood up for your decision you felt like you made the right decision and you feel like you uh, that, that uh, something has manifested that is beautiful and comfortable for you you still have some niggling in your head that is making you kind of sit back and wonder whether or not you've done the right thing um, so I think as we come to the end of the week um, there are still some questions that haven't been answered. You've still got some thinking to do. You've still got to face that fear, to face everything and recover that we talked about earlier. Um, the numerology for this reading is the number eight. This could be about power struggles. This could also be about obsessing over something. It's also telling you to uh, continue to have strength through the situation because the eight, um, and I always see the eight in two ways. The eight is uh, the major arcana that is uh, the eighth card of the major arcana is the strength card. And that's ruled by Leo. So you've been asked to keep your strength up so that you can fight your battles because you did have a battle to fight this week. So with the eight uh, ruling this reading, this was definitely about you continuing to have strength so that you can get through uh, any conflicts, any battles, any oppositions that you may have come up against. The other thing with the eight is, you know, um, I see this as Scorpio, Scorpio being the eighth 
sign. So I talked about some obsession. There may be some jealousy going on too. And I don't know if that may be you being jealous of maybe your partner's new love, your partner being jealous of your new love, or the people that are getting all in your business telling you you move too fast, just jealous of the fact that you got something going on and probably they don't. Uh, there may have been the power struggles, like I said, with the number eight power struggles between you and your ex, power struggles between you and yourself, you know, which way to go, do I do or do I don't. Um, and with the uh, me thinking of the eight and uh, as, as scorpionic energy and thinking of it as it relates to the strength card, I'm feeling like this week if you had infinite power. You had infinite strength. And I think that you use that strength accordingly. So, you know... I guess we'll see as we move on, as the days approach us. But for last week, just overall, just to sum it up, you showed them what you stood for. You didn't take crap from anybody. And you felt like you got what you wanted. Now, you do still have some questions about whether or not you really did do the right thing. But as of last week, you did exactly the right thing. And that, my friends, is the weekend wrap-up. I hope to see you again next week.